We got border, I'll take it. By the way, if you guys don't, um, I'm gonna go for mirror on the defense. Usually, um, I would recommend a good warm up though, like I was saying. I typically play like a couple of the training grounds before I pop into ranked. Sometimes if I'm not feeling it too much, I'll go in like the shooting range, do some of that. It's uh, usually a pretty good thing to do. You know, I'm going to get on the Goy. I've been feeling this lately, the uh, Vector on him. I proxes. I would have liked impacts, but proxes are fine too. I can kind of use some traps to shut down certain areas and get some more info on stuff. I've been liking Goy recently, especially on Border for this site and Border in general. He's really good on this map. Probably been my favorite gun to use on defense uh, lately. Yeah, I am feeling good about the border pick. I'm gonna go and reinforce these. My teammates helping me, that's a surprise. Usually nobody helps me reinforce triple, but I'll take it. Always reinforce this one too if you have enough. That's the uh, Canadian wall. Usually there's a mirror spot on that. It's called Canadian Mirror. I don't know if I have any like pro league viewers in here, but I'm excited for the... Uh, I'm not going to put that there. I'm just going to stack one on the door. I'm excited for the uh, NA Major. Not the NA. Is it NA? I don't think it's NA, actually. What is going on in my game? You guys see that? Okay. Somebody told me in the comments recently this is like a glitch. It happened last time on border to me too. Apparently my teammate was doing an attack. So I'm guessing somebody on their team's doing it because, my god. I don't know how that helps them though if they're on attack. Unless it doesn't do it for them, I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. Hopefully it stops though. This is going to be annoying if it happens the entire game. And I don't know if this will be a video. Might have stopped now. I'm just going to chill downstairs for now and try to lay flank east here. Maybe I'll just go now because I don't think anybody's entering here. I'm going to go before my team all dies. One's below me. Okay, I'm gonna try to run up metal really fast. 2v2. One's right above me. Probably knows. Nice, Cade. That was a good night to that uh, Bravo, I think it was, that I killed there at the end. I also deleted the guy that was in the break room just holding an angle on me. You knew I was coming in everything. I just destroyed him. I got a comment recently on uh, one of my videos. Somebody was saying, like, uh, I know it's not many comments like this, by the way. Okay, I got tellers. Um, somebody was saying, none of my enemies even look at me or try to shoot back. Like, what are you watching? Like, half the time, they definitely are. Um, but this is Siege, after all. Like, if you can get situations that the enemies aren't looking at you, like flanking them or whatever, or catching them off guard, you want to take those fights more than the ones that you're just going head on, like, when they know you're there. Because they're going to be more favorable, even if you're the best. Like, you're going to have higher odds they're not looking at you, so... That's just how the game works, though. Like, even in Pro League, I was mentioning Pro League earlier, before the first round, like... A lot of kills in Pro League, people aren't looking at you. I always make footholds across that wall, by the way. Sometimes I see people, be, uh, people reinforcing that. Also make headholds here. Um, but yeah, if there's footholds there, it's harder for them to get in like the blue lobby, I should say. Or anything around there. I don't know if my team wants to rotate, I'll just do those. Yeah, heddles here too, that way you can watch the window jump in better. I like making foals on this little wall. So that way if they do get in there, they can't just like hide against and tuck. 
another angle for them to worry about in workshop. I'm not a fan of the runnable rotate. They can kind of just like jump in the window. If they get all the util. They should do. So I have this down here. I forgot I had a bulletproof. Oh my god, it's lagging again. You know, I'm just gonna hide in the corner right now and wait till this stops again. It did last round eventually, so. Drowning. Oh god. I'm gonna go ahead and hide in here and CC. Waste their time, shoot drones. See ya. Part of me wants to go back up metal, but I'm gonna chill right now. This is a good spot for this fight. I was about to say I got all my with me, but nope. Got three goos, but I don't know if they know I'm here. Try to avoid that. Nobody's in sight. Surely this is a free kill. Yeah. If I die to that man, that guy is literally the best player in the world. There's no other the reason for me to die there. Well, I would have had to have the worst potato of my life, but come on, I don't miss those. You guys know who I am? I feel like I have a really consistent name. Like I said earlier too, I was uh, talking about a warm-up before I think I lost my train of thought or something. Um, you should always warm up, basically. I always do a couple training grounds, and I used to do terrorist hunts a lot before they took those away, unfortunately. Maybe one day they'll be back. Hashtag free Mac T hunt. And he needs to like make a petition or something. I understand I was taking like a lot of game resources or whatever, but I miss my T hunts. Slap out of here, I guess. That's gonna be hard for them to shoot in the side too, it's the neck to something. Just running the Legion again. I kinda like put info everywhere. I like Legion a lot on this map. I normally like Cap can too, but he's banned. Cap can traps on this door are the best. Work every single time. I'm gonna play above here too. Oh, okay. I can start over here, I guess. Off this. A great game for us, obviously, so far. If we can get a 3 0 half, then that's like huge. It's gonna be pretty unlosable on our attacks. So, a massive round. So, 2 1 on defense is pretty normal in ranked, even on border. I know border's pretty much attacker favored in comp, but not in ranked, I'd say. Okay, they got 4v4. 4v3, nice. Nice, Cade. Awesome. Just gonna get closer to site here. We have a rotate. Gonna play the back, make sure they don't come back here. Nice, 4v1. Got an assist, like I had a Gumon.
Yeah, 3v1, let's just chill. Customs. Got my BP up here still, too. Plain sound. Sounds like he's on, like, the end. Yeah, he's gonna be... In sight. There we go. Easy as that. No idea what my castle's doing. I just like kept looking up there, and he was nowhere to be found. That's why I was playing passive. Uh, I know castles above, probably scaring them and making noise, at least. Ain't no star for us. Uh, and yeah, I just went up close to the door. I was just hoping he wouldn't try to, like, wallbang right next to it. But I don't think he knew I was even, like, that close. Obviously he didn't, because he was planting, like, right in the open. I thought he was going to be planting, like, in the back. You could see, like, where I was aiming, but we'll take it. Okay, so 3 0. Doka B is banned, so I can't run that. Mirror's banned too, which is nice. Um, I think I'll just hop on the Ash. Ash is usually like my safe bet on a lot of maps. If uh, I don't like Doka be on it or whatever. Like individual sites. Usually I like to entry really fast and like get in the map right away. You don't just want to like sit outside and do nothing the entire round so your whole team dies around you. Not how to win in solo queue. You want to be the one trying to make the play fast. But not too aggressive. Because if you die, obviously, then your chances go way down. Like, when do teammates 4v5 in the solo queue, right? But if you can get that first pick, like make it 5v4, or even like two picks, then obviously a much higher chance of winning. I'm also switching to the Twitch, by the way. I see they have Echo. And I want four cams as well since they have the uh, visual. It's crazy when you think about it. Twitch does have four cams. Alright, I just got deleted, man. I always look for this too. They could come out the window. They can come out here, but... <laughs> okay, that kills me. Sure. Sure. Well, there we go. I was just talking about that. 4v5. This guy's just sitting here. I'll just be a good teammate and swap through cams. I think of yellow pings. But yeah, now it's 4v5. Odds are not in our favor to win this one. At least we're up 3-0 though, so... Yeah, that guy killed me instantly on my screen and then I watched the kill cam and... He was not aiming at my head. He was just like spraying through the branches. To play the. I didn't even hear the door breaking and prep. I just always look up there by instinct. Ooh, we try team. I mean, they have a nomad there, I think. If he can get the plant off. Okay. Yep, <laughs> I knew that nomad was gonna hit the Montane eventually because it was right next to it. Winnable. Oh, okay, that fell apart. Oh, you gotta win that. Okay, I guess Vigil did kind of go off after killing me, though, of course. I love how that's just how it works. I know everybody can uh, understand what I'm talking about when I say, like, if you die first to somebody, and when you could have killed them and you had the chance. They'll end up shredding your entire team after. This is how it works. It's like the rule of it. I don't understand, but... Cardinal rule, I guess. It's okay, though. We have two more rounds to go on. They gotta go bathroom tellers, probably. I think I'll just hop on the ace here. See what my team's taking a little bit here. Give them some time. Armor? Okay. Yeah, I'm hopping on the ace. Now, if they do end up going uh, workshop and vent, then I'm going to switch because 
Ace is pretty useless for what I do there. I do like Twitch on that one, but Taken. Pure Blood Sith. I'm guessing this guy's a Star Wars fan. You guys would know I'm a little bit of a fan myself with my name. Who in the comments knows what a loom means? That's the pop quiz of the video. By the way, that was a cav. Somebody already pinged her. I'm just trying to get my pre-placed up here. This is a massive pre-placed drone for this site. If you get in fast enough, you can get it before the uh, defenders even you can see it go up here. They never see this, trust me. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to try to take this myself. If they have all the uh, wall reinforced, and I'll just breach it. If not, then, even easier. Can't go wrong with Ace's gun, either. So I can't really hear anything right now. My cat is being very loud. Okay. And somebody jumped out of that window. Is Twitch not like right there, by the way? I was just slowly dying on my drone. By the time I got off, it was too late. Yeah, Twitch is here, by the way. I think she was like, uh, outside the drone hole or something before the hut. Whatever. Not looking good, though. It's going to be a 35 again. I was not expecting somebody to jump out of that. I was thinking about it too in the back of my mind. Where I mentioned my cat was being loud. Obviously that is not the reason I died. This guy's just down outside the window. Still winnable. It's 3 4. They got a cav. Yeah, Twitch was just trying to kill somebody out here, I guess. Yeah, I don't recommend that unless you have like some good teamwork telling you you can get one to the drone hole. Because okay, that's an interrogation. Here we go again with those. And my cat is just like clawing the chair on the other side of my room. <laughs> what just happened there? I look back and somebody was like jumping outside, killing everybody. Good aim on the hood. I can't remember the last time I used that gun on Cav, and I used to play Cav quite a bit, like a couple years ago. Before I like start my YouTube thing, before I took like a big break. I didn't play Siege for like a good year almost I think. From like 2020, like early to like 2021. And I was playing on a mobile hotspot for a bit even. Trying to like move and stuff. Um, anyways though, big round here. This is not looking good for us. We don't want to let this come back happen. These two rounds have not even been closed. I've been first picked, I think. I just love how I was mentioning um, being aggressive and whatnot, then I'm getting first picked. But I'm not even, like, having a chance, really. Like, that vigil the first time, and then somebody jumping out of that window for bathroom teller site is interesting. Can't say I've seen that one before. I'm pretty sure I put the claymore even for, like, this window. Because that's where they sometimes will try to get aggressive when I shoot it down and drone, but I have not seen him jump out of that one. That was a good play. My Twitch definitely should have got the refrag though, but whatever. He's looking for it. I was mentioning though, I like Twitch for this site. A lot of times people take Goyo for this one. So I can real quick I like pop like three or four of them. They like mute for this too, so I can get those from long range. They always give twitch the diffuser if there's no hard breach. It's fine honestly for this site the way I play. Always check for peaks on these. That window especially, like people will get you out of that from Customs and whatnot. I 
Okay, I think we're good here. Did not want to get jumped out on again while I was climbing that. I always put a claymore on here for this side because it makes more sense to jump out here for this one. Hello. I didn't think it'd be that close. Well, not looking the best here again. Had to make something happen. I just don't have any help on this side. Make everything open. want to peek. Oh, he was playing on the door, okay. They actually played that well there in the 1v3, nobody was peeking me. Digital kind of just baited the dock, but I mean, that's probably the right play there. 100% the right play. I didn't even know he was there. Usually people will just like peek so aggressively, I thought it was good. Think if that vigil wasn't there, man. Or if I look there first. You can't pass up the chance on the dock, though. It's whatever. That was a 1v5 in like less than half the round. I don't know what my team's doing. And we got attack first, so this is not looking ideal, to say the least. I'll tell you what, though. I'm not getting spawn picked again by that vigil. They're going to be upstairs, I'd imagine. Got Benny on the Ying. Two of my teammates are not having the best performance. Can't control your teammates, though. Gotta control what you can do. They did actually go bathroom tellers too. I wasn't expecting this, but makes sense. They did kind of destroy us on this. Tell you what, though, I'm not gonna get jumped out on by Warren up there. Let me try and out of sight of that. I don't think you'll try to get it anyways. I do usually like this ace play. It works a lot of the time, I'd say. Like just coming in from this side and taking a workshop. I'm not gonna have my pre place, which kind of sucks. I didn't think that was the site, but. The blitz. I mean, smart here. I'm playing more in this too. Could end up being a freebie. Blit is in too. Blit's dead. Oh, I have the diffuser. Forgot about that part. 
I hate how it's like randomly gives it to me. I know I'm playing Ace, but. Oh god. Okay, nice dude. He team killed, but he made up for it. I don't know what he was doing right there though. Okay. Nice. As long as we get the round, man, that was a 3v5 again, so it was definitely not looking the best again. Brought it back. We're playing a good team too, at least, I think. I know there's been at least like one champ car that killed me, that warden, I believe. Um, so it feels like we're playing a stack. And I had a freebie on Cav too. I don't think she would have ran there if it wasn't for the red ping. I don't know why. Like, why red ping? I already have a yellow ping on it for anybody else. And I'm the one pushing it, and that was my drill, and I don't even need a ping in general. I hate teammates that like red ping for no reason, man. It's like my biggest pet peeve in rank for sure. Oh, that's all good. Gotta lock in for the defense again. We did good here last time. I'm gonna try to get active again on the Goya. And two Goyas here. I didn't even put my last two Goyas down last round here. Just didn't have the time. Instead of putting my last two goyos, I was making plays. Sometimes I do just get distracted talking to you guys too and forget stuff like that, just little things. I've gotten more used to it at this point for sure after doing these for a bit, but it's not the easiest thing to like do that. I think pack a loss down there again, too. I'm glad that hasn't been happening all game. I was worried at the start. I don't want to put a Goyle on this window, honestly. I know what I was saying earlier, but I'm not going to use my last two Goyles. I think I got this spot again. I don't think two Goyles are going to really do much, especially when I'm off site. It'll just help them with a the new thing. Okay, man. Just stay alive, guys. Got a freebie incoming, but... What is this guy doing down here? He swings me from that. Okay. That's unfortunate. This guy swings me from that side while I'm swinging away from it. Man, why is Buck downstairs throwing stuns and doing vert on the breaker room? I was never in breaker room. And the diffuser is planted. Okay, whatever. That was bizarre. I feel like if that guy wasn't there, I have an actual shot at winning. I had just a few more bullets too. I missed the... The third guy, whoever that was. I don't even know at this point. Man, I had the spot too. Like, just one or two more players on my team stayed alive. Just 10 or 20 seconds longer than even better chance of winning that round. But what can you do? Four people dying in 50 seconds. Got the attack at least again. We won our last one. I still believe... They're probably going to go back upstairs too, so I'm hopping back on the ash. This is the round my teammates step up here. Two of them are going 1 in 16 right now. This is where that ends. Yeah, they did go upstairs too. Figured. Very interesting lineup. Nomad's good here, but like... A mix of... Is that a pulse? A mix of zero recruit with an Amaru, now Osa. Okay, I guess that's a bit more standard. I actually like entering from down here. I didn't get a chance to obviously last time, but... Okay, he's actually going up, that's good. 
I like coming up east though on this attack. One's close to me in small office. I'm gonna try to go for the revive. Okay, he's gonna get the diffuser. Let's go. That was an intense match. I know I wasn't talking there for like a good couple minutes, but I had to play. I knew I could like just sneak around him. I was pretty much using sound as my drill once I got on the map. Which is sometimes what you gotta do in solo queue. If I got on my drone at any point there, it's gonna take me longer. And it's going to be louder, obviously, and they're going to hear that. That's why I wasn't shooting cams either. I was just seeing if anybody was on them. I think that was like a 3v4 or 3v5 again, too. And multiple of those. What a match, though, for my 16 bomb. And something light. 3.3k to you. There you go. Very close to the uh, Silver 4. Obviously, you can see we're... Only 17 games in in Silver 5, but we're already playing pretty good players. I'd say average, probably like Emerald right now, maybe Plat Emerald. There will be some champs scattered, though, some lower ranks. Very early on in the season, but I'm glad we're raising the competition already. I do like playing like better players more, because it makes more sense, and I can do my own thing a little bit better. Kind of a little bit harder when you're playing like the those lower but average kind of ranks, like Gold and Plat. I feel like that's like... Just, you never know what's going to happen, man. It gets so random. But uh, anyways, we're doing good so far this season still. Good progression. I am going to save it for Grim, by the way. That's why I got the uh, Renown still. That will be my next purchase, I believe. Somebody did request that. And I think somebody else did as well in my comments. Just a single video for this one, but plenty of double videos soon, I'm sure. I've been having fun on the game recently again, so. If you did enjoy this one, leave a like down there below. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.